After a different form to start the season, we're starting to put together some good results. We're fifth after four games. And hopefully, pushing forward from there today, we can get ourselves back into the top four and start challenging for that first place again. Of course, our priority this season is actually cup football, both domestic and European. And we start our Champions League journey today away from home against Lokomotiv Moscow on the 16th, which we'll play. We'll also... I'll, I'll sim crew, I think, because we could probably easily get a result there. So we'll, we'll play Wolves, we'll play Lokomotiv Moscow, we'll play Burnley... Then we'll sim crew and we'll sim West Brom. And that should be us, hopefully, fingers crossed, with at least four wins and maybe a draw or defeat thrown in there if we're unlucky. But we should perhaps be winning all five of today's games. But I don't know if I've now jinxed myself by saying that that should happen. So we shall find out in due course. Thank you for all your feedback on the videos over the weekend, whether that be uh, the transfer window for this save or, of course, for the FM video that went live on Saturday afternoon. Thank you for all of the support on that. I haven't yet trawled through the 300 comments, but I'm going to do so after I've recorded uh, this and tomorrow's video as well. So uh, it's on the list of things to do during the workday today. So thank you very much for all of the views and all of the comments, and I'll, I'll get back to a handful of you in due course. But uh, positive response, and I'm very pleased with that. Thank you very much indeed. If you haven't seen the video... Check the channel page and watch it. You won't be able to miss it. It's the one thumbnail that stands out from all of the rest with a big Cambridge United badge on it. Let's see what side uh, Wolves are putting out against us today. And rather than just sit and waffle on throughout all of the pre-game credits, let's just jump to uh, the performance and we can see who's where. So Andre Lunin in goal. Nelson Semedo at right wing back. So it looks like they're playing five. Kudus, Kabak, Kimpemba and Johnny. They're playing Kudus at centre-back by the looks of things. That's an odd decision. Uh, Hamed Junior Traore in the midfield with Leander Dendonka, then Rafinha wide right, Daniel James wide left, and Munir through the middle. So yeah, it's a 5-2-3, but they've got Kudus at centre-back. And Dan James is actually the one at striker. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to question it. If it works for them, it works for them. But, ooh, I'm not sure. Dendonka switching it out wide to Malik Wilkes. Goal in the Arsenal game, it's Arsenal versus West Brom. We don't yet know, really. It's too early to tell, isn't it? Who's going to be challenging us for the Premier League title this season? Presumably, we will be challenging for the title, regardless of our uh, diverted attentions, shall we say. Obviously, looking to get cup football well underway this season. We haven't won a cup so far in this save, despite getting to an FA Cup final. So, it's, it's the priority now, having won the FA Cup. Obviously, sorry, having won the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Champions League are the two priorities. And then if we can win the Carabao Cup as well, then fantastic. But we'll wait and see what happens in this one. We obviously won the Community Shield after winning the Premier League last year. We got, well, it took a penalty shootout, didn't it, against Tottenham. Kudus is very, very, very fast. And maybe that's why they've got him in their defensive line, purely to make up for a lack of pace elsewhere. Although with Ozan Kabak in there, they're not exactly lacking on pace in their defensive line. But never mind. Can't get ourselves the 1-0 lead after 20 minutes because Andre Lunin put in a good stop. James, wary of the pace in their front line. See no Adama Traore for them in this lineup, but still it's going to be a dangerous team to play against. And he hasn't yet scored for me in a oh in a played game, Lissandra Martinez, but has picked up an assist or two so far. And very nearly getting another one there. Lewis, oh god. Perfect angle to show you just how bad that shot was. We've come to expect better from Keen Lewis Potan. I'm sure his finishing is in the 90s. What is it? Finishing. 93 finishing, and that's what he came up with. Hmm. Back there to Sangare. Looking for Lautaro. Turns well, shot blocked, but it'll fall free to Charlie Barnett, who will find Lautaro again. And Andre Lunin with another good save to deny our Argentine striker his first goal for me in a played game. Sangare. Well, good connection with the header, but well wide of the target into Madison. Across to Sangare, and out there is Lewis Potter. Nataro. <sighs> West Brom take the lead at the Emirates. Wow, didn't expect that. Arsenal took the lead early doors, and now West Brom have completely turned it around. Here's Traore for them. Gabriel Martinelli. They are missing him, obviously, Arsenal. They did make a number of sales. Oh, I've got to see the man on the far side. I'll try and get the second defender involved. Oh, that was risky. 
That was risky. That was dangerous, but we were able to deal with it. And Madison's given the ball away, and James could find that man out wide against. So again, we'll switch to Garcia via, and getting to it first is Rafinha, and he was making no mistake. Wow. Foot through it. Wolves won. Hull nil in the battle of two sides that play in very much the same colours. It's the away side that take the advantage. Good run. Elder trying to stick with him, but Rafinha's just too quick. Couldn't keep up with him. And in the 56th minute, Wolves take the advantage. Out to Wilkes. Madison's going to go again. There's a number of people pushing forward here. Madison will look through that gap and find Tavares with a nice ball. Oh, he's tripped over there, the Wolves man, and that could cost them here. Looking for Lautaro. Finding Charlie Barnett again. And it has cost them. Whether it was directly resultant of that trip from the, the defender, I'm not sure. But certainly it helped. Having a less... Bodies to having less bodies to try and get the ball around. And Charlie Barnett equalises for us. Another assist for Lautaro Martinez. Went one way, went back the other. Gets it to Barnett and on his left foot. You favour him in that position. Kempemba couldn't get the block in on this occasion. Out of his feet with his first touch with his right. And then swept home with his left. That's how you finesse a ball into a bottom corner, Keen Lewis Potter. Charlie Barnett's second goal of the Premier League season. Don't know how many assists he's got as well so far this year. But certainly contributing heavily again. 1-1 here, and there's been a goal at Anfield, and Liverpool are extending their lead yet further over Newcastle. It's 3-0 at Anfield. Here's Dan James in between the lines of midfield and defence. I see Avaya strong in the challenge. Didn't get any of the ball either, and I thought they might have got a free kick there. Wallace will get this out wide to Wilkes, and into Charlie Barnett. Martinez is there. I've got Pedro Neto now on the left-hand side of my midfield. As Keenlo Spotter wasn't having the best of games. It's not the best of passes, but it does find its recipient. And Lautaro holding off one man. Ah, oh, can't hold off the other. Traore. Oh, if I could have stolen that off then with Sangare, then we'd have been in with a number of players further forward. As it happens, they've got a man further forward. Pelistri's in again. Arsenal have equalised through Pavon against West Brom. And we might be about to concede a second as well. And Dan James might well have won it here for Wolverhampton Wanderers. An excellent cross. He's away from the defenders with... The extra pace that he's got in that central area. Nuno's coming down to celebrate with the players as well. Yikes. Wolves 2. Hull City 1. That's not part of the script, boys. Brilliant cross. And Dan James just gets there ahead of all the defenders. He's just too quick, I think. Questioned whether he should be at striker rather than out wide with Munir, who's a striker in that left wide position. But, I mean, the keeper stood no chance from that header, did he? He didn't even make... That good a connection on it. He just, thankfully for him, was close enough to the goal that his poor connection didn't see the ball shank wide. If it had been a yard or two further out when he made connection there, that would have spun off past the post and it would have been an awful miss. As it happens, it's into the back of the net and we are 2-1 down against Wolverhampton Wanderers at home. Three minutes added on. Can Rob Wallace help instigate a chance to go back level? Pedro Neto up against his former team. Looking to find some space, but can't. Ball taken away from him by Rafinha, and that'll be game, because, yep, time has run out on us. Wolves with a late winner, and in the battle of the two that play in the same colours, it's Wolves that come out on top. Keen Lewis Potter should have finished his effort. They had two shots all game, Wolves, and they scored both of them. Clinical finishing compared to our wastefulness, and that was the difference. Yeah, all copyright, go away. Here's Lokomotiv Moscow's starting lineup. Not... Any names in there that I recognise, I don't think. Uh, Lizakovic up top. Zamalek Dinov is a name that I think I've heard of before. Murillo at centre-back. Is that... No, Murillo, the, the former Valencia centre-back, is uh, a double L, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Let's have a quick look and see if we recognise any faces. Uh, no, it's not It's not who I was thinking of. No, I don't. I don't think... Don't think I recognise any of those names, but equally they might not recognise any of ours, apart from maybe Lausara Martinez. But certainly I doubt they've heard of players like uh, Charlie Barnett before. You can see I've rotated a little bit. Neto on the left, Sigankov on the right, Curtis Jones in the middle, Pellegrini at left back, and George Long in goal. So we'll see what we can do in arguably, probably, on paper, the easiest game of our group. Nice ball over the top to Mac. Oh, great ball. Poor touch. That could have worked really well for Locomotive there. Barnett around the corner to Curtis Jones. And Lautaro could be away. And he's away. Very much so. 
and they're not going to catch him here. And he'll score. His first goal for me in a played game comes in the Champions League. Let it be known that the man to score the first ever goal for Hull City in the Champions League is Lautares. Lautares. Lautaro Martinez. The first goal in Hull City's history at this level. Scored by our brand new 150 odd million pound signing. Money well spent. Magiv to Jamil Leptinov. Pellegrini gets a foot in well. And a nice ball around the corner to Curtis Jones. It's turned nicely and gone again. And Barnett looks from can't find him first time. Can find him second time. And through there is Lautaro on your right foot. And a second. Curtis Jones gets an assist. Two new teammates linking up very well. into Celebrate with each other. Okay, fine. Two new teammates linking up very well together. And we have ourselves a second here against Locomotive. Curtis Jones has been brilliant so far. So forward thinking. Always busting forward from that central midfield position to get involved in the attacks. That's exactly what I wanted in that role when we were looking for a player to fill it. Curtis Jones seems to have done that perfectly well. Lovely assist from him. And a second goal for Lautaro Martinez here this evening. And we have ourselves a 2-0 lead. Shamaletdinov, Magiv, Magiv. Oh, early shot, flashed just wide, and then the ball disappeared for some reason. Not far away from their striker, Lizakovic. Oh, very nearly, very nearly burying it in that bottom corner. But so far, George Long with a clean sheet on his return to first-team football. Shame he's got zero sharpness because you can't train goalkeepers, but, you know, never mind, eh? Hopefully next year. Curtis Jones across to Sangare and forward to Neto. Down the line is Pellegrini pushing forward well. Can he whip a ball and maybe find Lautaro for a hat-trick in the first half? No, Murillo deals with it well. Maybe from the corner instead, Sigankov to deliver towards the near post. Actually more towards the penalty spot. It's going to drop here to Curtis Jones eventually. Um, the referee's going to blow for time. Solid first half though. If only we could have done that against Wolves. Win that header to Vara as well up. Curtis Jones is there to get it around the corner. And Sigankov with a switch. Quickly by Neto. Oh, looking for Lautaro. Will find Lautaro. And Pedro Neto's in. Rifled home. Making the most of that start. Pedro Neto on the score sheet. Unfortunately, couldn't change the game for us against Wolves. But we have ourselves a goal to make it three on the night. I get lucky there with the dodgy touch from the locomotive man. But no mistakes from the finish. That is very, very good indeed by Pedro Neto. We're starting the Champions League. By showing our intent in this competition this year. We want to do well. We want to get to the final, at least for the board. And I'd like to win it too if we do, if we can. But certainly this fires a warning shot to other teams in the competition. Just because we won the Premier League last year after only being up in that division for two years doesn't mean that we're not deserving of being at this level. Doesn't mean that we're going to be at that level again this season. Oh, Neto could be in again on his left. We'll go for a similar finish, but he's pulled it low and wide this time rather than high and into the top corner. Close to four, but we'll stay at three goals to nil. And Lautaro, he's gone again there. Oh, would have been a lovely through ball if the defender hadn't gotten in the way. Curtis Jones completely wipes out the locomotive man and no foul given. Lautaro poked that for Charlie Barnett and he could add a fourth here. And Julie does a very similar finish to Pedro Neto. I mean, the strength in the middle there. Get off the ball. Give me it back. We'll have a fourth. Well done, boys. Lautaro with another assist. And Barnett with another goal. They're creating quite a good partnership here at the beginning of this new season. We mean business with Lautaro and Charlie. There's the final whistle. Solid victory. Welcome to the Champions League, boys. Certainly making our mark on the competition at our first opportunity to do so. Great to see Lautaro get on the score sheet a couple of times and left foot finishes from Neto and Charlie Barnett was certainly very good as well. Not sure what the other result was in our group, but we'll head into the game against Burnley now. Hopefully full on confidence and ready to uh, get another victory. Burnley, Nico Mantle in goal. Marius Wolf, Valt Faze, Dale Fry in Tanganga, Perez, Mohamed, Bakayoko and Orta. Carlos Fernandez and Luis Javier Suarez up top. Carlos Fernandez seems to have a habit of scoring against me, doesn't he? We'll try and keep him quiet on this occasion, but Burnley aren't necessarily a bogey team, but a team that occasionally we do struggle against. Garcia by a forward to Rob Wallace, who gets a start now. 
Now, Tara Martinez was a little tired, actually, after the Champions League game, so I've brought Wallace into centre mid, moved Madison into Cam, and now Charlie Barnett is actually playing at striker for this particular match day. I didn't want to rotate too much because, obviously, we've got the game against Crew where we're going to want those fringe players to be fit to hopefully get us a result in the Carabao Cup. Or to, oh, actually, it's a very good turn to bring that down inside. Turned away from the defender well. There's a number of orange and black shirts around him, though. We've slowed them up. Tanganga, oh, good shot by Orta, but good save by Galacci. Perez will take the corner on that far side. We'll try and get rid of it. Do want to get back to winning ways in the Premier League as soon as possible. Got a couple of back-to-back -back victories at the end of yesterday's episode and then kind of stumbled again with that late defeat to Wolves. A point wouldn't have been too bad, although we were at home, so you kind of want to win all your home games if you can. And we come forward. Ah, Sangari to turn away there. Not the best of close control, but coming forward well. Ah, lift this and we should find Wilkes. Del Fry deals with it. Good solid defender, Dale Fry. Not sure if he's Premier League quality, but certainly a very capable defender. Keep that in, Mallet. Well done. Tavares is there in support and whipped. Looking for someone in the middle and only finding Timmy Bakayoko. Oh, Jesus. Pinballing about a bit at the minute. Rob Wallace. Go on then. That's floating. But it's not going to cause Mantle too many problems. Bit of quick footwork and he can backtrack and get to it. Stay with a dominant header there. And I didn't foul him, ref. And the referee agreed. Barnett ran the outside. Uh, support arriving. Wilkes. Keane. Again. Madison. I can't score. <laughs> Tanganga over the top. Finds Fernandez. Chelsea take a second goal lead against Leeds at Ellen Road. Here's Luis Suarez. Oh, he's turned brilliantly. Just on a sixpence. Spun on the ball there. And Bernie lead by a goal to nil. Seeing a big difference in the way that we played in the Champions League and the way that we're playing in the Prem. That turn there, that's almost undefendable at times. It's just turned so sharply and so quickly that still you can't deal with it. And then a really good finish on the end of it as well. Burnley in the 41st minute lead. Our league form is not that good so far this season. We are stumbling in the Premier League in defence of our title. We can't get going. Hopefully it won't be long before we start putting a really solid run of form together. But we're going to need to do it sooner rather than later because we don't want to get too far away from those sides at the top. Otherwise, it will become an insurmountable lead that whoever it is that's at the top has over us. Looking for Rob Wallace. Can we get an equaliser before half-time? Don't blow your whistle yet, ref. Don't blow your whistle yet, ref. Don't blow your whistle yet, ref. Go on, James. Oh, blow your whistle. Ricardo Pereira's gone to Bayern. We know that, but... I'm relatively happy with Tavares. He'd probably be the next man that I'd replace in this team because he is a little bit wayward at times defensively. But he's been good enough so far. Come on, Malik, please. I need something, and I need it sharpish. And it Wilkes. Wallace. Lewis Potter. Get away from the defender. Fire the shot in. Oh, defender gets the block in as it's on its way towards goal. And we still don't have this equaliser. Uh, caught the man that's probably going to be a yellow card for me and that's a nice ball out wide and now I've got a man further forward who should be back in a defensive position Stoyou's dealt with it well Chelsea 3-0 up at Old Trafford oh, Old Trafford at Ellen Road sorry Leeds fans but I can't get this equaliser at Turf Moor where has Dahoud come from so much pace there to get back at James Madison I drew Elder a little bit further forward there and again I'm going to have to draw a defender out of position don't foul him. Don't foul him. Doesn't matter. I know he's out here, but certainly don't give away a penalty. Get off. Trying to just out-muscle him. I can't do it. Mohamed with a sharp turn and draws the save out of Galachi at the near post. 15 to go. Still can't take the lead here against... Or still can't equalise even against Burnley so far. And because of the game midweek, I'm starting to struggle with... Uh, with stamina a little bit. Um, let's bring Lautaro on. Move those two like that. Now Tyler can go right up top to striker so I can move Charlie Barnett back in here as eventually a centre forward. Right. Come on, boys. I need at least one, if not preferably two. You've 15 minutes to make a difference. Lewis Potter was scuffed pass, as was that one. 
Come on, lads. You're better than this. Through that gap. There we go. Come on, Callum. Come on, Callum. Find the right pass. Find the right pass. Find the right pass. And a finish. Very well worked. That was a good goal. It's just taken us 80 minutes to find it, unfortunately. But we're level at Turf Moor. And there is time to do what Wolves did and grab a winner late on. Tavares, I needed that high attacking work right then from him. And Charlie Barnett has the presence of mind to drive into the space at the back post. Good ball across. Easy finish in the end. And we're level. We just need one more. Can we turn this around? It's Tanganga. Inside to the hood. That's a nice ball. Good tackle by Stoey, but the ball still drops free. Tanganga. I need to get it off them sooner rather than later. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. Right. Now or never. Literally. Now or never. Tavares on the counter. Inside to Charlie Barnett. Gonna drive into that space. Lautaro is there for me. Lautaro is there for me. Lautaro Martinez. Oh, what a challenge from Dale Fry. The last touch of the game could have been us scoring a second. It wasn't. I tried to angle myself so Lautaro would have a better angle on his right foot. But by doing so, it's just lessened the distance that the defender needed to go to get there for the, for the slide tackle. And we won't win the game. How gutting is that? I can't believe it. I That was it. That was it. That was the moment. And I've balls it up. We play again on Wednesday. Oh, I just accepted that. I wanted to reject it. All the others have been loaned to buy. So I've been able to go in and just go boop, boop, AA or XX. And it, the top one that comes up is reject. The one time that I actually do that without double checking. And it's just a regular loan. Brilliant. Well... Dave Gunn will go out on loan then, not to worry. We will head towards the next game against Crew. Fuck my life, I can't believe I've done that. And we will have... I mean, I guess Dave Gunn isn't a necess necessarily a massively important player, but still. I was kind of hoping to keep that body at the club, to be honest. Wallace wants to play. I'll think about it. You are going to get the start, Rob. Don't worry. Crew away is... Hands down a victory. A game we should be winning. Right. I'm going to go and fully rotate the 11, and then I'll see you in a moment. Right, side altered. Some... Slightly negative boosts there, or nerfs, I guess. But we still should get a pretty comfortable result. Barnet and Wilkes and Galaxy keep their first team spots for this. Wilkes moved to a striking position for this one. It should be a pretty straightforward win. Well, it wasn't straightforward, but it is a win. 1-1 one, one after 90 minutes. To penalties it went. Deary me. Sigankov gave us a 1-0 lead. Mandron getting the equaliser just before half-time. We weren't able to get ourselves in the lead... It says it went to extra time there in the in the sim. Uh, the Carabao Cup doesn't go to extra time. That's just a visual thing that needs addressing for simulated games. I shall make note of it and pass the feedback on. Uh, don't worry, Rob. I said work harder, but it's probably a bit harsh to say that too. Right, West Brom at home. And everybody's fully fit. This should be, I hope and pray, a pretty straightforward victory. Come on, boys. Get it done. A nil-nil draw. What's happened to us in simulated games this year? A defeat away at Newcastle, a draw at home against West Brom, nearly getting knocked out of the Carabao Cup by Crew. What is happening? Sigankov is up 1-87, to 87, which is great. He's slightly unhappy at his playtime. That's not a problem. And, yep, yeah, Gunn's move has gone through. And Neto is at our just for 10 days. That's not a problem. We can deal with that. So the first game of tomorrow's episode will be against uh, Bayer Leverkusen. That wide playmaker one is done. It's not going to let me train him elsewhere. We were hoping we could also train him as inverted wide midfielder, weren't we? Never mind. Not to worry. So tomorrow, we will hopefully continue our great Premier League form. We'll have Leverkusen, Liverpool and Manchester United. And then, oh, I've got Watford. I might, I might split tomorrow or might split the next month into two. We've got so many games now. I think, I think it's going to be a case of at least until the run up to January, judging by this, playing every single game. Leverkusen, Liverpool, Man United. If it, if it had Aston Villa in there, and then I could have gone a little bit later on in the month, maybe left one game. But because Liverpool, Man United and Bayer Leverkusen are all uh, right there at the beginning. And I want to play Benfica as well. So I guess for now, October will we'll take two episodes. Uh, November, two episodes because we've got City and Chelsea. We've got some big games in back-to-back -back fixtures, haven't we? Liverpool, Man United, then Chelsea, Manchester City. Or the other way around. 
The fixture list hasn't been kind to us. Tottenham and Manchester United both in the month of December, but at least split across the month. Oh, I say that, and then it's Manchester United, Tottenham, the next way around. Oh, dearie me. February's quiet at present, but we've got the FA Cup to factor in at some point as well, and hopefully we go further in the Carabao Cup. Well, this season is going to take a bit longer to get through, but hopefully it means that we can get some positive results. And I certainly need some positive results. Hmm. Indifferent start to the season. But everybody seems to be playing well on an individual level. I just can't get the team performance outside of that one against Locomotive Moscow. Hopefully we can do that again against Leverkusen in the first episode, in the first game of tomorrow's episode. But time will tell, I guess. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the remainder of this sixth season here at Hull, which I'm pretty sure now will be the last season here before we go for a trip overseas and then come home for the youth career mode but for now that's all for today thank you very much for watching and i will see you tomorrow